All right, guys, welcome back to the garage. So, I didn't record any picking up or unloading, but got what looks to be like a Predator 212, Baja 196, a little uh, gear reduction that it uses, and then the Baja itself. Pick this up. And the kid also threw in this little Razor electric quad. He was in the process of putting a snowblower engine on it, he said. There's a little tiny engine down here. I guess it was a little snowblower or something like that, he said. Looks like a weed whacker engine almost. Um... On this side, there's no clutch system, so uh, I'll be pulling that sprocket back off the engine. I'm going to check this engine out. Uh, the engine's actually almost lined up with a sprocket, so this will be its own video. Oops. So, stay tuned for this video, but right now... I'm uh, curious about these two engines, so I'm going to spray. or will run uh, this pole cut start is uh, missing a couple screws let me see if I got the screws in this bucket bring it right back did try to start up so I'd say this engine's good too. So let's get to throwing one of these two on there. Alright so this is the engine I decided to go with. I'm about to bolt it up. It is not a 212 Predator and I can tell that by the way the engine mounts or how the tank mounts. So well, I'm pretty sure at least.
tighten it off screen, but the engine is on. <coughs> I'm also going to turn the bike around so we can put the clutch on. <coughs> Alright guys, the engine is all tightened down. Now I'm going to put up this uh, jack shaft setup. Yeah, that's not good. I'm going to have to tighten this nut. I thought that this was missing a spacer, but this nut's just loose. So we're good. I'm going to bolt this up. You see how fast it is with this jack shaft set up on here? I'm guessing about 28 mile an hour. If that's not enough for me, I'm going to ditch this, straight chain it, see how fast it is, put a header on it. I uh, might put a header on it with just this uh, jack shaft set up on there. See how fast it is with open header. See if that changes anything. Free performance is always a plus. some bad bearings in it. I'm just going to send it anyways. Like, like I said, we'll straight chain it after the top speed run. I just want to see how fast it is like this. I might get a new uh, bearing though for it and put this on the pocket rocket and put the torque converter on this instead. See how fast that little pocket rocket is with this setup. We're going to do some testing, guys. So stay tuned for the next few videos that I'll be putting out. Because I have a lot in store. I just. It's going to take time to get videos out, guys, so be patient with me. I started a new job doing construction five days a week, 40 hours a week, if not more. So I'm not going anywhere. I will continue to continue to upload as my channel continues to grow. enough to me. Yeah, that's not going to work, guys. Alright, I'm going to have to pause the video, bring you right back in a second. I need a bigger washer. Big old washer. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the camera off, try to the camera off, try to get a bolt in this. I 
couldn't get a bolt into the other engine's uh, crankshaft to hold the centrical clutch on. So I switched it out, put the 196 Baja on it. Got the clutch all bolted down. Got this bracket all tightened up. I gotta tighten the chain up for the rear tire. Basically loosen the tire, pull it back. But currently, this is where I'm at. Need a half leak. I don't have a half leak right now, so we'll just go like this. Oh, this screw. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a wheel to put up here on top of this. Like a little skateboard wheel or something. That way it can roll over the top of it. Because this chain as it spins forward will pull down. So. Chains are all on. I just gotta tighten them up. I'm gonna save that for a different video. I gotta run the gas lines. Might not actually record me doing the video on uh, tightening the chains. It's simple. Just put a guide wheel here and loosen the back tire and pull it back. Uh, and then I gotta do a throttle. So. Throttle, tighten the chains, run fuel line. So that'll be in part two. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.